Shalom brothers and sisters. I'm going to touch on this briefly. This is going to be a short video because it's out there and you should have had access to this already and you can check this with your own Bible. But since someone in the last 24 hours again pointed out to me that I don't know what I'm talking about and there's definitely not two comings of Christ. It is a biblical error teaching that I'm teaching. I'm going to present this to you again one more time. Okay. There is a difference between the rapture of the church and the second coming of Christ in judgment, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. They are two distinct events and they are very clear with scripture if you understand and read the Bible correctly. Rapture of the church, number one, it occurs before the tribulation. Luke 21 verse 36 and various other scriptures and I've shown you various examples of why that is. The second coming of Christ occurs after the tribulation. Matthew 24 verse 29 to 30 is a prime example of this. Read it. It is when he comes back in judgment and he sets everything straight and then he stays for a thousand years. The rapture of the church, Christ comes for the saints. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 13 to 17. The second coming of Christ, Christ comes with the saints. Right? This is uh, Jude 14, Revelation 19, verse 11 to 21, and various scriptures in the Old Testament summing he, saying he is coming with his saints to that great day of the Lord of judgment. The rapture of the church, Christ takes the saints to heaven, John 14, 3, and various scriptures in the Old Testament, Isaiah and various other books. And then the second coming of Christ, Christ brings the saints back to earth with him. Zechariah 14, 4 to 5, Revelation 19, 14. So distinct events taking place in these two events coming. The rapture of the church, Christ returns to the clouds. 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 17. And this also shows you where the two angels speaking to the disciples say, what are you looking for? The same way he left, he will return in the clouds. That same way he's coming back to collect his own. The second coming of Christ, Christ returns to the earth. Zechariah 14 verse 4 to 5. The Bible describes that when his feet touch the Mount of Olives, there will be an earthquake. The earth will split and create a valley. The power of God will be immensely shown when his feet physically touch the ground again. In the rapture of the church, Christ is not seen by all. 1 Corinthians 15 52. He's coming for his own. In the second coming, every eye shall see Christ. Revelations 1 verse 7. In the rapture of the church, it is the blessed hope of the church. Titus 2.13. It is our blessed hope that we're waiting on for him to come and collect his bride and keep us in a safe place for a little while until the indignation has passed. With the second coming of Christ, it is the great day of of his wrath. Revelations 19 verse 15. Clear separate events. The rapture of the church coming to fetch his bride and keep her safe, rescue her, take her away. All my shorts and videos lately have been pointing to this with scripture reference and showing you this is exactly what he has planned. But there is a most definite time of judgment coming when God Almighty, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, comes back to earth and gives judgment on the nations. And that is that final second coming of Christ when those feet touch the ground and the ground splits and a valley forms. The earth shakes in anticipation as the power of Almighty God has arrived. Different events, people. Clearly, be encouraged with these words. Shalom.